We're going to do a quick follow-up to the last video where we talked about the fade in and fade out methods, and that gave us the ability to do some effects. And in that video, we chained these two methods together, the fade in and fade out, and it allowed us to do a fade in and fade out at the same time. So let's go ahead and just do that again. And you can see how that works. Now, there is also a fade toggle method, which I forgot to mention in that last video. So that's what we'll do in this video. And again, this will be a very quick video. And basically all the fade toggle does is it does the fade in and fade out, but it doesn't do it in one motion. It allows you to toggle the fade in and fade out on and off. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and just specify that method. So we do fade toggle right here. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And we'll hit this, and there you can see it didn't fade out. It faded in, and now to fade it out, we just hit the button again. So you can see this is pretty useful. You can fade things in and out as you please. So again, this is the fade toggle method. Okay, so we'll move on to another subject in the next video. See you guys then.